There you go. You should be here the intercom. It just piped up there. But yeah, if you guys are not getting audio, let me know. Singapore come as a public caning. All right. Good to know. I mean, I don't think I'll ever be in Singapore, but just in case I am, I will remember to leave the gum at home. But yeah, so here we are. We got one mission left on this planet. It's Clash of the Titans. It's just a battle, but they're saying it's probably going to be an assault class mech. So I'm absolutely good with another shot at a dire wolf or maybe even something else. So let's get in there. Let's do the best we can. It is a 419 salvage. So if we do a good job and we take down this assault mech correctly, we could potentially get full salvage on it regardless of what it is. So we're going to take our chances. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to have to do some roster swapping. And I will do the, the repairs on the mechs after we finish this mission since there's not any time that's going to go by. Uh, we gave AFP some time on the field, so I think now we're going to put the summoner back in. We'll put Devious in. Uh, let's see. Typhoon showed up, and they haven't gotten a chance to sit in the pilot seat today, so we'll put them in. Is there anybody else that hasn't had a chance to get some action today? I think everybody else has. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think everybody else has gotten a chance to get some action today. I mean, to be fair, Karos, we were officially enemies with Clan Wolf the day we rocked up into their space. They just didn't know it yet. I bet you they know it now. We got enough of their stuff jingling around in the cargo hold. That should be all the evidence they need. With that being said, we will actually also be pretty close. I think we're probably one more mission away for Steiner uh, from being able to ally with them. I don't know if that's a thing we necessarily want to do. Um, but it's something to consider. We, we definitely, especially in terms of like flashpoints and getting our hands on some of the better in-game equipment, I think we definitely want to consider allying with at least one or two factions eventually. But I think we need to take a good look at which factions and what we stand to gain from it. I mean, obviously Steiner will be the easiest faction to, um, to ally with for us right now. Because they're the ones that we have the highest rep with. But we could absolutely focus on some other faction. I mean, I know Erst would throw a fit if I suggested the Combine, but... We could do that. We could, I mean, I don't like the idea, but we could even throw our lot in with the Capellans if that's what you guys wanted to do. Ah, oh, Bolo, you have the photo ready. All right, well, then let me get you some permissions. So... For those of you that don't understand what we're about to do, and, and I will try to explain this to save Bolo having to type it out, feel free to correct me if I am not explaining this right. But it is my understanding that Bolo is getting ready to take the, the team in question for the photo that he just posted. Um, he is getting ready to take that team to a game and would like to use some of you as the pilots in that game. And so is asking for those that want to, I guess, claim the mechs in said picture to say their piece. So feel free to confirm or deny that, Bolo. That was my understanding of what exactly you wanted to do. I figured I would just explain it verbally since it's easier than you typing all that out. And in the meantime, while he's figuring out whether I explained it right, let's get into this mission. Oh, and it's raining, which is going to be great for the, for the laser boats. Oh, and we're starting in contact with enemies already. Well, this is going to be a very interesting mission, then. Oh, 
Well, there you go. Does need to be a normal name, not gamer name. So, no XX Pussy Destroyer 69420XX. Oh, well, there you go. There's, there's our, uh... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of disappointed that the... Look. I like the Executioner. And I like Assault Max. But there's a bunch of Assault Max in the Wolf Arsenal, and I was hoping for something different this time around. A Naga is not bad. I don't... What is, what is this? Is this a Viper? I can't tell. Anyway, it's got battle armor with it. Well, I'll let you guys figure that out. In the meantime, we're going to try and take down this Executioner. However, I'm a little concerned about the vicinity of the people right now. Like, we have literally enemies on top of us. So we're going to cheese and reserve down to one and see what happens. Why are you running away? I offer you no deals, for I cannot let you live. Don't run away. You're just gonna make this harder. Oh. Oh, they are bringing all kinds of big toys this time. Well, I think this will indeed be Clash of Titans before it's all over with. I offer you no deals, for I cannot let you live. Alright, who else? Oh, wow. You... You clanner scumbags. Alright. Clanner scumbags. So... For the record. I can't take much more of this. Getting banged up real good here. For the record. I reserved down to one. And all of the clanners didn't. Because they were all in initiative phase two. And so they all took their turn before me. Fucking scumbags. Alright. I guess I have that coming. Alright, who's next up? Uh, is Bolo stuck? No, but Bolo is way down here, and that is not where we want our artillery to be, so we need to get you the F out of there, like, right now. Uh, okay, well that's not ideal, but it'll do. And in the meantime, I think we take... Oh my goodness, it's a linebacker. I was not expecting to see that. Alright, so we got a linebacker. We got a Naga with two arrow fours. And there's actually two executioners on the field. Man. Uh, they, they are not playing around. Alright, well, let's make it hot. Alright. Well, thankfully, we've got all the time in the world to decide how we're going to do this, if Battletech will allow me to select someone. Alright, now. A Gauss rifle on a hill is always going to be deadly. But I think it needs to be more deadly against the Naga, because I don't like arrow fours. We are the only ones that are allowed to field artillery, sir, and uh, clearly you did not get the memo. Waiting for orders. Uh, 
Reporting. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I want you to move, but I don't want you to actually move. I just want you to rotate in place. Location Thank you. Confirmed. There we go. Alright, structure exposed. Good start. Come, Nerevar. Friend or traitor, come. Uh, as much as I don't like the idea, I think we sprint what a out. Grand and intoxicating innocence. Okay, a viper does not concern me all that much. All right, that'll work. That'll work. Awaiting orders. So Mara's up next again. I'm gonna continue to focus down this Naga because I don't like artillery. Persistent, aren't you? Awaiting orders. And I think we can afford to just keep hammering these guys. Sex number into the Naga for the AC-10 is acceptable for me. And thankfully we do have a little bit of elevation from this ridge line, which is perfect. Now what to do about the battle armor is the question. Because they're going to be able to jump, I think, and I don't like that. Did we actually do any? Oh yeah, okay. We did destroy some units. Taking a critical hit. No, no, no. You, you missed the part where I said they aren't allowed to have artillery, Oxford. We are the only ones allowed to field artillery. Those are the rules. I don't write the rules. I am just the person who is set to enforce them. So they are the ones who have committed the grievous Perfect. error by bringing artillery to the field when it wasn't allowed. There. Okay, good. I'm glad we understand. I, I just want to make sure, because I know not everybody reads the fine print in the manual for war. So, you know, sometimes you gotta, like, explain. Actually, you know what? This is a great opportunity for us to use the dead fire missiles that I never get to use on this dervish. I say while not being in range to use the dead fire missiles that I put on the dervish. Outstanding. Roger. Well, there we go. Enemy down. Component explosion, pilot injured, four salvageable parts. So if we want a Naga, I know you're busy, Bolo, but what do you think? You think you like a Naga as an upgrade, even though we just upgraded you? You feel like you want another upgrade to have two Arrow 4s? Commander. Just so that we can spend all of our liquid funds on ammunition every mission? I mean, the Arrow 4 already accounts for, like, three quarters of our ammo expenditures on every mission. Roger. Might as well double it up. Alright, let's see. We're not quite at the point where we can take a precise shot, so I think instead we'll use our elevation and fire at the battle armor. Try and do as much damage as we can before they get close. That was a critical hit. Correct, says the Naga, arrow four. But hopefully next turn or maybe the turn after we will get um, we will get the ability to precise strike. Giving him everything I've got. In the meantime, we'll take targets of opportunity. Let's see. Oh, right. Because Gravel Lion has the plasma, and because plasma is extra good against battle armor, I guess the salamanders are gonna have a bad day. Yep. No more salamanders. I mean, I guess that's a fair assessment, Karos. That's definitely a fast... That That's... 
I'm reading and talking again. It's a fair assessment. So it sounds like they're bringing even more fun to the party. We already have two executioners on the field. But it sounds like they're getting ready to drop another assault on the field, or maybe more, so... Could be a very lucrative day for us on the salvage market. Alright, Bolo has now safely fallen back. So I think... Just for funsies, what do we want to shoot at? Um, the linebacker has six evasion. The executioner's got four. That executioner has four. What about the battle armor? Battle armor's only got one evasion. I say we take that shot. Firing. There we go. Almost took him out. Come, Nerevar, First. friend or traitor, come. Uh, okay, so that's where the reinforcements are gonna land. Then I think we need to just immediately sprint in this direction yeah. so we'll have some kind of eyes innocence. on us. And punished, Fink. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Haven't seen you in the chat, so I assume you're out there lurking, but thank you very much for the support. And, uh, we appreciate you supporting me and the channel. You do not have to do that, but again, it means a lot to me and helps me continue to do this. So, um, again, welcome to the cult of bad tactical decisions, and hopefully you enjoy your ecto-cooler as you watch the show. Oh, AFP, you have missed... You have missed all the time foolery. Did you see the nuke? Were you here for that or did you miss that? Because if not, that's where I should start. And get, yes, also a lot of sex numbers. Man, we, we've been scoring those sex number shots all day. And that's not even a euphemism for anything. Orders. Well, if you miss the nuke, then I will tell you, go back and watch the VOD after we're done. And, uh have a look around the two hour ish mark and uh yeah it look for the part in the vod where everything's on fire and that's that's when we use the new ah, okay got you punished thanks well good that you could join us for the live stream again i always like to remind the folks that come over from the youtubes that the live stream is quite a bit further ahead um, I don't know if that matters to you, because I know some folks don't like, uh, don't like to have the events spoiled. Um, but if you don't care about that, then feel free to hang around. Uh, we probably will be wrapping up the stream after this mission, but it may take us another 30, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour. So we'll be live for a little bit longer, so feel free to hang out and join us for, uh, BTA shenanigans. Speaking of, I gotta figure out what I want to shoot these plasma rifles at. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, it's either gonna be, well, I was gonna shoot at the linebacker, but suddenly I don't want to do that. Let's instead shoot at the executioner, as you do. And in fact, because the cooling on this 2C is so good and we have the rain, I'm gonna go with Battle Lord. I got you. And we are just gonna melt this dude. Don't do it, Kairos. Don't do it. We've had this discussion before. We, we already talked about this. We had to get rid of boomboxes in the 80s because they kept turning into yeomans and it was jeopardizing the future of the planet Earth. Don't start that again. It, it took so long. We had to give up break dancing. Do you really want us to have to make that kind of sacrifice again? Actually, don't answer that. Because I have a feeling I know what your answer would be. Right, can we actually use the dead fires this time? We can. 
Alright, let's do it. Fire everything. Actually, you know what? Battle Lord first. Then fire everything. Uh, does somebody have a link to the yeoman? If not, I will say, uh, just go look on the Sarna wiki and you will see, but it looks like Kairos has already got it queued up, so, uh... There you go, Kairos. Lay that heresy on it. All right, let's see. The Treb has not had much of an opportunity to shine on account of Typhoon has been off the field this mission. Um, I kind of want to shoot at the battle armor, but the battle armor is almost dead. I think instead we battle lord and we just lay into this executioner until he stops moving. Yeah, it, it hurts to look at. The yeoman is a hideous abomination and to to even acknowledge its existence gives it power. Confirmed. Oops, I shot the wrong executioner. Crap. I mean, again, like, my assessment was the yeoman is what happens when you give, like, a three-year-old a brief description of a longbow and then ask them to draw it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Oxford. It's like that, except my description is this is a longbow if a child drew it. Taking the shot. I mean, to be fair, if we got one, I don't even know if it's in BTA, but if we got one, I would probably use it just to screw with you guys. And it would cause me pain every single time we put it on the field, but I would do it. I would still do it. Alright, so we've knocked down one executioner, and if he doesn't just immediately stand back up, then we should be able to use... Possibly our tanks or something else to uh, give him the business. And holy crap, we need to get the ballista out of there immediately. Uh, Mara, I hate to say this, but if I can't get you off of that ridge line, y you might be having a bad time. Did we hit the head? We did not hit the head. I don't don't get me wrong. I'm gonna try to get you out of there if I can. Ready for orders. But you've already gone this turn, and I didn't realize that you were in an exposed position. So I, I will try to get you out of there if I can. I'm even like I'm not moving my other stuff because I'm hoping to give them a more appealing target. Fire. But I can't help what the AI is going to shoot at. So I apologize in advance, but I'm going to do everything I can to stop him. Standing by. In fact, can I? I don't think. Can I? Wait. All right. It isn't much, but I am literally going to put myself my in front of you to try to body block. I don't know how effective that's going to be, but I'm going to try. I am hoping that I can at least block some of the fire. Critical hit, Commander. All right, we got that executioner pilot to eject. Why do you need six variants of the yeoman? Why though? Like the one was too much. Affirmative. Uh, who still has to go? There are two... 
Uh, so it's the battle armor and the executioner. Okay. I don't think I can stop this executioner, but maybe give him a better target. That's the best I can do. Maybe make him angry? Don't shoot at the ballista. Shoot at something else. Okay, that'll work. It's not the ballista. I'm losing armor left and right. Yeah, but in order to do that, AFP, I would have to give up one of our valuable vehicle slots to put something in that doesn't hands. And that's unacceptable. And Natter, good to see you on a Friday stream. Glad you could join us. Uh, so far it's been more good than bad, although we have had some downs for sure. We did fire the Davy Crockett, so we launched our first nuke, first nuke in mild annoyance this campaign. Uh, so feel free to go check the VOD for that after the stream is over. But we also had to, uh... I got you. We also had to abandon a mission just because of bad position. What the hell? Holy chat. Holy chat. Look at this beast. Look at it. This is what I was talking about. When I said, hey, can we get something that isn't an executioner? It's a Jotun. It is a Jotun, and it has the long time. We were just talking about upgrading Bolo. But this might be the ultimate upgrade. Like, I screw the Executioner. If we can get our hands on this... I mean, this, this is the last word in artillery right here. Screw the Naga, too, for that matter. I, I think we have our salvage target, chat. I think we have our salvage target. So these guys are enemies, but are they also... Because... Alright, here's the problem. It's a fucking long time. It is the artillery piece. And it's an enemy. Like, it's not on our side. I'm just hoping it's also not on their side. So that maybe he'll shoot at them before he shoots at us. In the meantime, I... Like, I would love... I would love to salvage this thing, but with that weapon system... We have got to take this thing off the field, like, immediately. As quickly as come, possible. Come, Narabar. Friend or traitor, come. Now, I want... Give me... Give me the magic pixel with nine evasion. There we go. So I'm gonna keep Karos loitering in the vicinity so that we can continue to see it and shoot at it. Well, that's fair. You know, I... I didn't even think about that, Mara. We... Well, then again, I don't know if your character in-game can even use a mech. You might be stuck in a vehicle. But we can look at that. We can definitely look at that. Okay, I don't know if they were shooting at the Diet Awesome, or if they were shooting at the Ballista and just hit the Diet Awesome. But yeah, we, we definitely need to spread out. That's for damn sure. All right, let's move. Um, where are we gonna put the plasma? Uh, you got a ghost. You don't. So we are gonna put the plasma on the ghost first. So let's take the shot. Not great at odds to hit, but 
The sooner we can get this guy gone, the better. I don't like linebackers. They, they can hit like a truck. Well, we've also seen, uh, we've seen some long-time vehicles in different shops around as we've been traveling. I think they sold one on, um, I believe it was on Solaris, if I remember right. Ready. Which I was kind of surprised. I was like, why the hell would somebody on Solaris want a long time? That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, let's see, 92 versus what? Oh, uh, we can't even, okay, well, fine. Dead fire it is then. Let's take out this other executioner since we know we're not really interested in trying to salvage it now. Wow, we didn't get the knockdown on him? That's some BS right there. All right, I guess this is the moment of truth. Yeah, the biggest t-shirt cannon drag tension. Then again, I guess that's fair, drone. I, I, I feel like a long time would definitely make for a very spectacular show if a very short one, if you were to use a long time in an arena fight. I say I need to spread out, and then I'm, like, moving everybody in the same damn direction. So maybe, maybe let's try actually spreading out instead of just talking about it and then not doing it. Uh, yeah, executioner, you need to go. And hopefully take the battle armor with you, please. Mech warriors, show them what you got. How? I'm about to say, we better get the knockdown after that much stability damage. All right, so, Mara, outstanding. You, where can we even put you to avoid you getting shot? So I feel like the only place you could go is like right here, but you still got direct line of sight to a bunch of people. Like I was hoping that behind this rock you could break line of sight, but you really can't. Like, we desperately need to get you out of line of sight of, like, everything. <laughs> I mean, the rock does block line of sight from some of the enemies. I think it's the best option we have. Yes, Commander. Like, it, it may not be able to block line of sight from everybody, but it's... It's some people. Target acquired. Give them everything you've got. So I think that takes out the battle armor, and that did some significant damage to the executioner as well. By. Um, I also think at this point we need to start moving our rookies Reported. forward. We're gonna take it slow, though. Uh, let me see. We will... Take the precision shot, we're gonna turn off the lasers, and fire at the head, even though we're probably not gonna hit because it's a rookie. Copy that. Nope, but we got a panic eject, I'll take that. Commander? Yeah, we'll, we'll try to keep the pressure on. If we can get the hunchbacks up close on go. that Jotun, then, uh... That will be good for us in terms of slowing him down, potentially even meleeing him to keep him from firing effectively. So we, we still got options. We still got options. It's not a disaster until he actually starts shooting that damn thing. Then it's a tragedy. Affirmative. Although there's also the part of me that keeps thinking, maybe I shouldn't kill all of the enemies because then he's not going to have anything else to shoot at except for us. So maybe I should leave a few enemies. I don't even know if they're fighting each other. They may not be. Because these wolf guys do not seem interested in them at all.
uh, Dracy, and this is BTA 3062. Specifically, this is the classic version. So, it is the version oh, yeah. without the community content. Now, thankfully, the Rommels have 360 degree turrets, so it doesn't matter where we move them or what facing we have them using. The only problem with that is, if we expose our side armor to the enemy, we are potentially opening our people up to getting blasted, so we'll have to be careful. Where the hell did the Gauss shot go? You just completely missed? Alright, let's... Let's get bamboozled down here. We'll take the shots that we have. Thank you, General Quarters. Commander. And uh, now that we've actually gotten Mara to relative safety, I'll go ahead and move the commander up as well. Can we? You know what? Let's active ping. Sensors. Since we've actually got some enemies in range this time, it seems like a good time to do it. Now, uh, we got the summoner. Unfortunately, the AC2 has jammed. I think we'll move back in this direction. Again, in the interest of trying to spread out as much as we can. Precise strike? Yeah, sure. We'll take a shot at the cockpit on this linebacker. Maybe we get lucky? Affirmative. And he hit it. Injury resisted. So we got a hit. It just didn't hurt him. Oh! Okay, I thought he was gonna fire. I thought he was gonna fire, but he did not. Well, that's your mistake, buddy. Don't think I'm gonna give you the same courtesy. What else do they have? Oh, god damn it. Chat, they got a Mars den. In case you don't know, the Marsden has 1260 armor for a 60 ton tank. It's ridiculous. These things can take such a beating. It is stupid how much punishment a Marsden can take. Come, Nerevar, friend or traitor, come. Alright, we'll do the same thing here. We're gonna go for max 9 evasion, and again, we're just gonna keep flying Erst and the Dakota back and forth to give us a visual. He can be our artillery spotter. Orders. Unfortunately, the rest of our boys, we're gonna have to run down the hill because a lot of our stuff is direct fire. And we ain't gonna have no shot if we don't get over there and actually start hitting him. So give him the full alpha plasma rifles in the side torso. I'm surprised he didn't lose an arm to that much damage. But then again, we are at a point in the campaign where plasma rifles are gonna start to fall off. Alright, Natter. Again, was glad to see you, even if it was just for a little bit. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your night and the rest of your weekend, if we don't see you before next time. Yeah, exactly, General Quarters. That's what I'm talking about. For a 60-ton tank, 1,200 armor is stupid. That is an outrageous amount of armor for such a light vehicle that had had half. Well, a 60-ton vehicle to have that much armor is insane. Like, it is... This is getting tiresome. It is so hard to destroy those things. Aye, aye. Oh, we can't melee? Dang it. Alright, well that's fine. We'll just sprint into your face and then shoot you with the AC-10 instead. How about that? If you don't want to get punched, you can still get shot. Targeting for an alpha strike. Well, I say that. And then the rookie misses both shots at point blank range. Because, you know, hubris and all that. Alright, what are you guys gonna do? 
Are you just gonna hang back? Oh no, you're moving up. Okay, so they are fighting with the wolf guys. That's good. However, we're gonna have to go through the wolf guys in order to get to the other guys. So that's not great for us. Oh, it's on now. Well, there goes an arm and a leg. I'm out of long range so, take a dirt nap, loser. You earned it. Uh, he did resist the injury, so good on you, I guess. Copy that. We will take a shot at the center torso and just end it's this guy. That leaves one more wolf enemy on the field. We can probably keep him distracted with the hunchbacks long enough for our indirect fire to start putting some heart on the other guys. Since our direct fire guys are not going to be able to do much. Oh, come on. Mara. 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 If you were ever going to get another lucky headshot. If you were ever going to get another lucky headshot. Now is the time. Because we can take the only real threat off the table immediately if we get a direct hit with this. Chet, I need your mojo. Cross your fingers, cross your toes. Tie your shoelaces. Whatever you got. Got a magic lamp, rub on it. Got a magic eight ball, shake it. If you got a rabbit's foot, start... Start rubbing on it. Here we go. Come on, Mara. He's going down. Damn it. Damn it! Okay, okay. I will admit that was probably too much pressure. I'm sorry. Why the f Don't, don't, don't tell me that now. Don't tell me that now. Alright, so riddle me this, Capellan. It gave me the option to shoot at the head. What the hell was I shooting at then? Roger that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I'm just saying, if the game is going to give me the option to shoot at the head, don't then tell me that the head is not in the head. Let's, let's have a look at this. Cut. That'll take. I'm trying to do some research here, if you don't mind. Okay, so it's not in the side tours. Oh, son of a bitch. So what the hell did we shoot at? What the hell did we shoot at? I mean, we didn't hit it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But what the hell did we shoot at? I'm very confused now, Chet. I am so confused right now. Uh, which direction are you facing? Oh, well, that's convenient, because you're only going to let me hit the side that's facing you. You'll have to see it. I mean, not that an AC2 vedette is much of a 
threat, but, you know. Give the enemy proper respect and all that. We should hopefully get- oh god damn it, it was the front armor, you breached the front armor and not the side. Good lord. No, I can see that, Carlos. I would be very upset if we did get the headshot and then it was like, actually, the mech is still alive because the torso is in the- or the cockpit's in the torso. Uh, so, good to know that now. Rather than go through all the trouble of doing that and then be extremely disappointed. Uh, you know, speaking of precise strikes, let's just go ahead and take the headshot on this guy. Well... I mean, we're not necessarily having a, a hard time killing in one shot. Oh, well he ejected. There you go. Panic eject. Uh, it's not hard to get the one shot kills if you actually hit the cockpit. It's just, not all of our pilots are necessarily good enough or accurate enough to do that. The commander is one of them, game master is another one. They're the ones that, like, pretty consistently have been hitting the cockpit shots. Oh, no. Did you- Did this dude really just shoot a long time at a freaking helicopter and hit it? You have got to be joking me. And he had nine evasion. He had nine evasion and this man just long timed a helicopter. That is some battlefield shit right there. That's shooting down a helicopter with a tank. Confirmed. Man, this game is trying my patience today. Located Battletech confirmed. is trying my patience. Don't... I already did it once today. I know I said the cork was off. But that didn't- don't- don't you fucking tempt me today, Battletech. Do not tempt me! Reporting. Serious armor loss. I- I will- I will spend another million and a half. Do not fucking tempt me. Don't think I'm gonna do it. By the way, if you're wondering why I didn't precise strike right there, it's so I'll have it saved for next turn when we crest the hill. So I figured we'll just set everything around that vedette on fire and force it to move. Also, we really need to kill that vedette, like, now, because it can still spot for the long time, and I don't like that. Okay, I think we used up all the dead fires. We did. Okay, so we gotta go with normal ammo now. Uh, Move into position. So let's go ahead and we will precise strike on, I guess, the Vedette? It's kind of a waste. I don't want to use swarms, though, because we got our rookie right there next to him. Alright, so that's one spotter down. So, the, the battlefield story that I have, and it was not me that did it, it was a friend of mine that I was playing with. The Battlefield 4 story that I have is a friend of mine got roadkill kill, got a roadkill kill with a jet on infantry. Where he was flying a jet and he was coming in to shoot a squad of infantry with the guns and he didn't pull up in time and he actually like hit the ground and bounced off of it but when he did he hit one of the guys that was running across the field and it actually said in the kill feed road kill 
So he actually ran someone over with a jet by landing it on them. And then he basically bounced off the ground and kept flying because that's absolutely a thing that would happen in real life. But it was still funny as hell. That is my goofball battlefield story. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, right. I need to figure out whether you're going to attack or not. Uh, did I not move you? Can you not? Did I somehow move you to a place where you can't move? You know what? It doesn't matter, does it? It really doesn't matter. Let's just fire. We're just going to fling some missiles at the Jotun and hopefully that'll do the job. Yes, Commander. Uh, we need to get somebody over this hill pronto, though, so that we've got visual on the enemy, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Tiger 12, what are you actually packing? An AC-10? Okay, that could actually hurt if you shoot us in the back. So I'll have to take care of you. Um, let's deal with- oh, Jesus. Alright. I think we have to deal with the Marsden. What- what does the Jotun have besides the long term? Is the question. Okay, so he's got- he's still got two PPCs, which means he can still brawl. Alright. Definitely something to keep in mind. Standing by. Definitely something to keep in mind. Where is that? Oh, right. He panic ejected. I was like, where's that viper? I, I was still thinking I had to kill it for some reason. All right, let's do this. And then we're going to immediately fire. Well, I guess we're not going to fire at you after all. Do we, we actually have better accuracy on the Marsden, so that's what we're going to shoot at. Because again, the long time doesn't bother me if we can get into melee with it. If we can start punching and kicking him with those, um, if we can start punching and kicking him with the hunchbacks, then it'll be much less dangerous for us. I would love to, you know, do the proper thing and try to salvage this thing, like take it out by the cockpit. But uh, I don't know if we're going to be in a great position to do that, unfortunately. Don't get me wrong, I really want that Jotun. I really do. Yes, Commander. But I don't know if the terrain is going to allow us to do that, and I also don't know if its own weapon system will let us do that without us taking a bunch of unnecessary damage. So we'll see. We will see. I'm still going to try to do it. Don't get the wrong idea. But again, we already had an accident with Mara, and we already had an accident with Erst. I, I don't I don't really want to jeopardize anybody else's life for the sake of trying to salvage this thing. Firing all weapons. I mean you see that. Four shots from an AC ten, three shots from a clan ER PPC, this thing still got half its armor. Like the Marsden is stupid. I don't know what the hell they make its armor out of, but we need some of it for ours. As for damn sure. Oh shit. Oh shit, we got our sniper in a sniping position. It's the right torso, right? Yes, right torso. Okay. Do it. Here we go. I feel like we didn't get a cockpit hit on that one. Again, we're still gonna try and get those hunchbacks in there and bully this guy. But we gotta take care of the chaff first. Or we can let the, the chaff come to us. That'll also work. Oh, mama, I am glad he missed with that. Did you see that, though? Like, I don't know if you guys saw that. But, like, this whole freaking circle just exploded when he missed with that long time. That is a huge area of effect. Orders. Um, we haven't even stripped the armor off this guy yet, so I think we're gonna go precise strike again. 
And I'm I'm just gonna keep sanding that armor off. Yep. All right, we specifically saved Gravelion for this Copy moment. That. We saved his precise strike for this moment. Oh shit! I forgot he doesn't he can't aim with precise strike. Son of a bitch! All right, well take the shot anyway. We know that the long time produces a lot of heat for an artillery piece, so hopefully getting him heated up will stop him from using it. The only way to pop the meat is to crit the cockpit out and destroy it. Okay, so basically we're gonna have to take this thing down by getting him to eject. That's about the only way we're gonna do it and get full salvage. We're gonna have to get him to panic. Because we're not gonna be able to get lucky and destroy the cockpit. Well, I mean, we could get lucky and destroy the cockpit, but it's... It's extremely unlikely that we're going to do that without also destroying the mech in the process. So, I think we just... We just get in melee and we bully. Hell, I'm even going to turn off the AC. We're just going to... You know what? We'll punch him, too. We'll go for mech stability damage. Because if we can, I want to knock him out. That'll help panic him even more. Well, alright. We destroyed something. I don't know what it was. But he resisted the injury. You piece of shit. Uh, again, I'm doing the dumb thing. And I am literally giving our rear armor to the enemy. Because I'm... I, I don't make good decisions. So just, you know, know that about me. Um, you know what? We already got one person in close contact. Let's see if meleeing this Marsden will get it off the field a little faster. Still haven't breached the armor. As if to prove my point. You goddamn right, Sendrin. That's my one redeeming feature. I mean, hi, like, good to see you guys again, both you and Sendrin. I, I did not miss you. I did not miss you. I see you. Awaiting order. And HMods wandering into the chat. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Hopefully things have been well. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. I also feel like I haven't seen you live in a while, but I've also been busy lately. So I don't know if that was just me missing you or if you've just been doing your own thing. But either way, good to see you. Glad you could join us, if only briefly, for a Friday, and hopefully it's a good Friday for you. Roger that. Ah, okay, in. traveling with the wife for a couple of weeks. Outstanding. I think we could all use some more travel these days, so hopefully it was a good travel. Hopefully it was for pleasure rather than business. Alright, let's let's hit this Marsden with a precise strike again. The sooner we can get this tanky ass thing off the field, the better. There we go. Got the armor punch through. Outstanding. Target neutralized. Yeah, the the Marsden, if you ever see it, it's not super dangerous, but it is super tanky. Like, yeah, it's got an AC-10, so you do gotta keep an eye on it, or it can cause you problems. But the main reason that the, the Marsden is a problem is because it just sits there and tanks and tanks and tanks, which... It's a tank. What a concept. Alright. There you go, Enemy you bastard. Tank. You got no more screen, so it's just you... And all, what, 12 of us. So things are about to get real interesting on this hillside. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna charge. Moving to position. Targeting for physical attack. We are gonna bully. Who else? Just the tanks? Alright. I will move up the tanks. I will move up the Rommels. We probably aren't going to use them, but I will move them up all the same. Order. You know what, though? We could. We could. Our man's Game Master. He's got a knack 
for making the shots that no one else can make. Maybe we just pepper this dude with the machine guns and we get a lucky we get a lucky crit with the machine guns. I copy. Like would it not be the funniest damn thing in the world to get this we literally just got a knockdown with machine guns. I you know what? I think that was worth it all by itself. We just knocked down an assault mech with a tank's machine guns. Reporting. Did not have that one on my bingo card today. Confirmed. But yeah, we're we're just gonna punch and kick this dude until he panic ejects. I have zero intention. Like he's already heated up, so I I mean he might fire the long term, but probably not. Bolo, sadly, not much you can do from way back there, so you're gonna have to sit this one out. And hopefully our brawlers can do the jab. Oh, oh. Alright, I'm not I'm not gonna charge. I am not gonna charge with a rifleman. That would be a bad idea. And Rhubarb Kari, first time chatter, welcome to the stream on a Friday. Hopefully you're doing well. And uh, glad you could join us. As always, glad to have any newcomers. Not sure if you heard about us on the YouTubes or if you just randomly wandered in through Twitch, but uh, glad to have you. Good to go. We are playing some BTA, little Battletech Advance 3062. Uh, currently up against a Jotun Assault yeah. Artillery Mech, and we are trying desperately to get this guy to eject so that we can claim it for ourselves. And Erst, just as soon as this guy shows up, immediately slapping him in the face with a gift sub. Erst, thank you very, very much. And welcome back to the land of the living. I don't know if you're off work yet or if you're just on break, but either way, good to see you again. And thank you so much for gifting the sub. Uh, Haste Dragon, as much as I would like to heat him out, the only way we can do that right now is with the plasma rifles, and if I do that, I'm probably gonna blow this mech up, and that's exactly what I'm trying not to do. Erst. 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 Buddy. Two things. Number one, we had you flying in the VTOL, the VTOL got shot down. The bad news is, you're probably gonna be in the hospital for a while. The good news is, you survive. The really good news is... We used the nuke today, and we used it on clanners. It was earlier in the stream, so go check the VOD around the two or two and a half hour mark after we're done if you want to see it. The suggestion I've been giving to everybody is go look through the VOD for the part where everything is on fire, and that will be the part where we use the nuke. I mean, it literally set half the map on fire, so it won't be hard to find that section. And we also sent you in to get sterilized slash clean up the remnants. Well, it's funny you should mention that, Sendrin, because we have gotten the event to give uh, our pilots that are in medbay a prosthetic limb. And I had that event for Erst specifically once upon a time. Yeah. And I didn't do it because we didn't have the money at the time. But I did promise him that the next time it comes up, if we have the money, I'm going to buy him the bitchin' metal arm. And Sierra gifting a sub to Drum, a, a visitor today from Lithuania. Again, Sierra, thank you for the massive generosity and the massive chicken and for gifting the sub. Uh, Drum, welcome to the Cult of Bad Tactical Decisions, where we have all the Ecto Cooler you can drink. All right, again, we're going to punch this dude. And the reason I'm punching is because it does less physical damage and more stability damage. My objective here is to try to knock this guy down again so that we can panic him. 
Because that's about the only way we're going to get this dude out of this mech without blowing it up. It's not a perfect plan, but it's the only plan we've got. Yeah. And Sierra again with the massive chicken and the massive generosity, gifting another sub to me, Hylik, because and yeah. loving in as well. So there you go. Uh, once again, Sierra is out here making it rain subs on people today. So again, welcome, welcome to the community. Hopefully, you have a good time. And as always, Sierra, thank you so, so much. You guys do not have to do that. You do not have to support the stream that way. But it means a lot. It really does. Why are you telling me this now? I'm gonna keep doing it anyway. Don't tell me he can't eject now. It's too late. We are locked in. This is the plan. This is what we're doing. Either he comes out of there, or we blow it up. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna punch this dude to death. Then, if that's what we gotta do, we get lucky, we get a, a, a cockpit hit and injure the guy. That's one way or another, that's what we're doing. It's too late now. Like I said, we, we are locked in. This is the plan. Roger that. This is the plan. It is too late. We have committed. The resources are in play. Affirmative. There is no going back. Hmm. You know what? A summoner is a clan mech, and it's probably not going to be great at brawling, but... Fuck it. Punch him. Punch him. Don't shoot the LRMs. We don't want to blow them up. Just punch him. No. No, Chad. We are doing this the hard way. I have already decided. This is the way it's gonna be. There is no going back. I cannot believe this dude just got out of there. Are you gonna make me kill you, dude? I don't want to kill you. But you're going to make me do it, aren't you? Copy that. Confirm. Hold it. Yes, Commander. Don't make me do it. I want your mech. Don't make me kill you. Confirm. I'm, I'm dragging this out. Way longer than I should, aren't I? Chad, do we just blow it up and hope we run into another one? Like, I know I just went through the whole spiel. But I feel like this is gonna take a while. He's still got a lot of armor left. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing way out here either, but I'm also not complaining about the opportunity to grab myself a Jotun if we get really, really lucky. But as as Chad keeps telling me in little bits and pieces, uh, apparently this is not going to be as easy as I initially thought. I was thinking, hey, just get a quick headshot on the guy, and then we get a free mech. Apparently, that's not how this works because it's got a side torso cockpit. So instead, we've been punching and kicking this dude, hoping to get lucky with the, uh, with a cockpit shot that might actually injure or kill him. Panicked? Knocked down? Come on. Pilot injury. Pilot injury. Why are we not getting pilot injuries, damn it? Kick this man. This is, this is dumb, Chad. This is dumb. 
And I love it. I'm loving every single second of it. Alright, we'll fire at the legs. We will fire at the legs. You guys keep saying leg him. So I will fire at the legs. Oh shit, I can't shoot through our people? With a machine gun? You're not gonna let me? Good lord. Karos, let me, let me, look. You keep feeding me like little bits and pieces of information when you should have told me all this up front. First you're like, hey, by the way, don't shoot it in the head because the, the cockpit's in the torso, and I was like, all right. And then you're like, oh yeah, by the way, yeah? don't try to make him eject because he won't eject because it's a torso cockpit, and I'm like, okay. And now you're like, actually, he's got... An injury resistance buff, so you can't really kill him that way either. And I'm just like, God damn it. No. Unacceptable. I'm nah, it's fine. I, I think we're just gonna put an end to this, because... It sounds I'm like the more that I do this, uh, the more that, like... <gasps> it's just not gonna happen. We would have to get extremely lucky. Yeah, uh, again, it, it sounds like about the only way we're going to get this guy with a cockpit shot is if we just, uh, if we just got the one in a million shot and took out the cockpit with a crit, so. Um, but, at any rate, we have to thank Drum for paying for with the gift sub that they just got to F.S. Hammersmith. So, Drom, thank you very, very much for the gifted sub. We appreciate that, as always. You guys do not have to do that, but it is exceptionally generous, and I do appreciate it. Um, oh, right, it's Bolo. It's Bolo. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna stop playing games, Chad. We're gonna stop playing games. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got swarms. I don't wanna use swarms because we're gonna hurt our own guys doing that. So we will instead just fling some LRMs. Yeah, destroying arms and legs will also reduce the salvage. So, like, again, short of a one in a million lucky shot, there is no way to get four salvageable parts on this thing. Could I... Are you... Really? We're just that little bit out of range where I can't hit this guy? Are you kidding me? Damn you, clan LRMs. And there we go. Shape charge ammo explosion. That's going to be one salvageable part. Yeah, I was trying to use the MGs to crit, but again. We will be here all night and I will burn through all the machine gun ammo trying to get that and we'll probably still blow the damn thing up, so better to just get it over with. We got one part. We know to keep an eye out for him in the future. It's fine. Oh no, I don't blame you for that, Sierra. Like I said, at that point, I was just trying to get it over with. We, we spent far too long playing around with that guy, and if I had known up front how hard it was going to be to take out a pilot in a torso cockpit, I would not have wasted as much time on it. We would have just full alpha the man down. It's, it's whatever. Yeah, we, we sent that guy into the negatives with that ammo explosion. Alright, let's make sure Erst is good. Erst, buddy. Actually, only 93 days after getting shot down in a VTOL. That's pretty impressive. I would have expected him to be out for longer than that. So, uh, apparently Erst and all of his shenanigans have made him exceptionally resilient. Also, it might have something to do with how many points he's put into uh, his gut stat. Um... So yeah, as promised, maybe we go for the Naga, which is a artillery platform that we can mount. Well, we already know we could put two Arrow 4s in it because that's what it had. 
Um, or we could go for another executioner. Although, like, I like the executioner, but. Even though the Naga is like super ugly, it is a really good artillery platform. And clearly, Clan Wolf loves fielding executioners, so I imagine we'll run into another one or two in the near future. Uh, what else do we got? Anything that we can't live without? Um... A piercing SRM. This is probably the first piercing SRM launcher that we have found in the campaign. If not, it's one of the few. Uh, and then a bunch of ammo. Well, let's see what RNGesus is going to give us. Gave us one more executioner part. Gave us the Jotun part. Uh, some salamander battle armor. I don't need regular machine guns, SRM2s, don't need the 4s, don't need the XL. Uh, we got 49 heat sinks, so I don't really need that either. Uh, let's see, what else? We have 10 Gauss ammo, so I'll go ahead and sell that. Don't need LRM ammo. And I think we keep the rest. Yeah, 3 stack of Marsden. I mean, I don't know if I would field a Marsden. Honestly, because, like, we only have four vehicle slots. And I think the four vehicles that we're currently using is ideal. Because we have the two Rommels for damage and range. We have the Ballista, which is an outstanding artillery platform. And then we have the VTOL, which works well as a scout. And we can use it for battle armor transport. And if I can find a dedicated aircraft for a Dakota replacement, we will absolutely do that, but uh, but for right now, we use it as a scout, because that's what we got. Ah, well, there we go. We are now officially enemies with Clan Wolf as promised, which means we no longer have access to the hiring hall or the store. That's going to make our, our journeys in this space a little more difficult. That's alright, though. Again, you make enemies when you go to war. Uh, it looks like we can repair the hunchback without having to replace anything. And same with the cougar, which is good. I, I like it when the repairs are nice and simple. Let's see. Are we going to get... Can we get to a thousand? We're not going to get to a thousand? All right, here we go. Get ready, chat. We're going to get a thousand. That's a thousand. There you go. Not only that, we made it to 1100. We might even make it to 1200. Chat. What? What have I done? What have I done? Look at this. It's still going. We're going to get 1300. Well, there you go. There you go. That that was 300 spends right there. I don't know what the hell I did, but I did something right. Okay, so, first and foremost, we got a Naga to put together. That mech you wanted is back online. Uh, we have another Timberwolf to put together. Alright, Chit, I'm asking you guys again. Are we doing the E variant or the C? Do we do the Charlie or the Echo variant of the Timberwolf? I don't know which is better. Yeah, just be glad you weren't in that mech, Ajax. Otherwise, the entire interior would be coated in vomit. Ajax, are, are you trying to... Are you trying to fuck with me right now? We have the Echo and we have the Charlie. So my question is, of these two... Which is the one that we want? Because this says command unit. This says command unit. We did. Uh, I believe it was the x-ray that we built. So this says 2ER large, an Ultra AC-5, and LRM-15 launchers. And the Echo is... ATMs, 
ER large lasers and the uh, white tag. So, I mean, I mean, it looks like they both have ER larges, but one of them mounts a looks like an AC5, and the other one focuses on ATMs. Everybody says E, all right? We're going with the E. We are going with the Echo. Timberwolf Echo it is. So that gives us two Timberwolves now. And the Naga. And we will probably store them for now until we take the time to actually do the heresy and, and do whatever we're going to do with them. God, look at this. Look at this. This is just, just hideous. Just absolutely. Like, it's not Yalmut. It's not yeoman ugly, but it's still pretty damn ugly. I'm, I'm sorry? No, I want to do the paint jobs for the Naga. There we go. Like, I understand that this is a... This is a community-made model, but, like... The fact that the paint jobs don't look weathered just makes this mech look fake to me. So this should come with its default configuration where we've... Oh, well, you can't even take the Arrow 4s out of it. Good to know. Um. All right. And as an assault, it's already got the 400 engine in it, so that'll give it some decent-ish mobility. A 6.8 on an 80-ton mech is not bad. That is not bad at all. So, uh, yeah, the, the Naga, I think we need to do some Mech Bay Heresy on. But we will store that away for now. Because that may be the final iteration of the Holy Fat Man. Possibly, Sindrin. I mean, we'll probably give it another Holy Fat Man designation because of the whole nuke thing. But, uh... But we, we will we will look into that. In the meantime, we have see this this is a more traditional look. Like, look, this is the timber wolf. Like, this is our timber wolf. Like it looks it looks like half of it melted. Th this is our timber wolf, and this is the timber wolf she tells you not to worry about. Like this like, this is the actual timber wolf. This is Timberwolf at home. Ah, uh, but we do have two Timberwolves now. Which we are also going to store. Again, I will... I will do some messing around in the mech lab and see what kind of heresy I can put together. And then, once we come up with some decent ideas... Um, for the Timberwolves then we can have a discussion about what we're going to do with them and who's actually going to get to drive them. Um, but yeah, with that being said, we should have cleared out the command center at this point. Yeah, we have. There's nothing left here to do, so we're going to have to move on again. But that's good. That means we cleared everything out. We got a lot of salvage. In fact, before we go, before we go, let me double check and make sure that we don't have anything else in the cargo hold that we can build because we have picked up a lot of other just random salvage and there may have been something that i missed so let me double check just to make sure because i don't think i missed anything but you never know this this is a tragedy right here we just need one more one more freaking hunchback 2c part and and we will be golden um, what what the hell are we doing with a random cicada part? Get that shit out of here. Be a cold day in hell before I build a cicada. 
Vapor Eagle is not a terrible mech, but I don't like, again, it's clan, so we'll hang on to it just so we can build it. Um, I don't want a Royal Falcon. We do have the Chaparral, Adder, Nighthawk. When's the last time we ran into a Nighthawk? I feel like it's been a while. Because these are Jade Falcon, right? Eh, we'll get rid of them. We'll get rid of them. Uh, Ost Scout. No, no thank you. No thank you. And then we got a couple other hangers on. Oh god, the Hussar. No, absolutely not. Get out of my face with that. No, no, no. Yeah, if they're old Star League, then... Listen here, Blandade. I still have to eat. And we will be, we will be wrapping up the stream pretty soon. I'm just, uh, I'm just doing the usual end of stream, kind of cleaning things out, making sure that we're in a good spot for when we come back next time. So that I don't have to do a bunch of extra stuff before we actually get started. Um, I mean, we got a bunch of kit foxes. We got some incubi. I think we just sell these things. I'm, I'm never going to use them. Like, they're good for the scrap. That's about it. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm keeping the piranha. We're going to do dumb shit with that piranha. I promise. Just you wait. Just you wait and see. We are going to do dumb shit with that piranha. And then we got a couple of kit foxes. Again, I don't see us using them. So we'll go ahead and sell them up. And that's going to get us quite a chunk of change. Uh, the locust parts I'm hanging on to for the same reason that I keep uh, other mech salvage. Just on the off chance that we're able to put one together. And then I can strip all the parts out and sell it. Uh -huh. Um... Yeah, I think we're in good shape there. Let's hit the barracks, make sure everybody's leveled up so we can say that that's done. Um, I don't think we're going to have a whole lot in the way of leveling up for people to do since we just took care of that, but it still doesn't hurt to check. Uh, speaking of, here's Devious. We'll give them another level in piloting. Commander. Dark Sarah is ready for their next level of tactics. Um, I think we go with... No. I think we go with Master Tactician. More initiative is always good. Uh... I think we definitely need to pump gunnery. Training complete. It's not the primary skill for Dark Sarah, but Fire. we definitely need gunnery to be effective in combat. Go with the next level of guts for heat efficiency on a tank that doesn't overheat. Waiting for orders. Gravelion, you are getting really close to maxing out as well. I We got one, maybe two more missions before the commander is finally ready to max out all their skills, which will be outstanding. Mara, you are pretty close, one or two missions away from maxing out tactics. Um, and yes, so Mara, I don't know if you're still here, but we were, we were talking earlier about potentially putting Mara in, um, in an artillery mech or getting them out of the ballista, but unfortunately Mara is a vehicle pilot only, so unfortunately you will be stuck in something with tracks or wheels. Not much we can do about that. Ready for orders. Um, Ost is actually ready for his next level of tactics. Rex is still in the hospital, Sierra's not ready, the Nosty set that one out, we're not ready come on that one. Friend or traitor, come. And Erst is pretty close to maxing out piloting, so we're getting there. We are getting there. And yeah, this is, speaking of the med bay, this is actually, I think, the fullest that the med bay has been in a while. We got three people laid up in the hospital right now. Um, 
So, I mean, so here's the thing. To me, this is a good sign. What it means is three skull is doable for us, but there is some risk involved. We're starting to see more heavies. We're starting to see more assault mechs. That's outstanding because it means that we can improve our lance faster. So this is, it took us a while to get here, but I think we're finally at the point where we can start to push forward in clan space. Um, because if you remember, this is about the point where we were in the inner sphere before we stopped and went to clan space. And then we got crapped on by the clanners. And at that point, we said, okay, let's go back to basics. And then we worked our way back up. So now we're back to the point in clan space where we were in inner sphere space. So we're actually at the point now where we can start to, again, kind of push forward, take more difficult missions, and hopefully get better salvage. Like, last mission was great. That was a really good mission in spite of how things turned out. So... I like it. We're doing well. With that said, and I said this before, I am going to go ahead and close out the stream. Uh, Blandy, what comes next after Wrecking Clans is where we're probably going to start to get into like the faction gameplay. Uh, we'll start doing some flashpoints. We'll think about who we want to ally with, kind of where we want to stick our flag for the late game. Um, so now that we have a lot of clan tech in our cargo bays, we have a lot of good, dependable designs. Um, we have good, dependable pilots now. We're, we're finally able to look at, like, some of the long-term goals. We can start to hire some rookies and field them. Um, we can start to kind of put new mechs into the rotation and experiment a little bit. So it's good. It's good. We're, we're finally getting to the point where we can stretch our legs a little bit as a mercenary company. It feels good. It took us a very, very, very long time to get here. Keep in mind, we are probably 70 or 80 hours into this campaign at this point. But we have finally gotten to the point where I feel like we're in the mid game and the end game. We're in the mid game and the end game is in sight. Like, we can see it on the horizon. We're not quite there yet. But it's close enough that we can see it, and, and it, it is an attainable goal. Right. You don't look down the AC-20 barrel unless you're on the side with the trigger. Uh, Rhubarb, right now my stream schedule is a little weird because um, I'm currently having some job issues and I have to work my streaming in between that. So um, actually, this is a good opportunity. So before before I have that speech, before I have that speech, let's go ahead and we will drop a save. I will close out a battle tech and then we'll close out the stream and I'll, I'll give you all that information. Um, okay, come on, battle tech. Come on. There we go. All right. We'll go ahead and close that battle tech. Uh, so, yeah. Um, right now, my streaming schedule is erratic. I do try to stream once or twice a week. It just depends on my schedule availability. Um, so, with that being said, I do recommend that you follow me on Twitter because that is where I make most of my announcements about when I'm going to go live. Uh, also, if you are on the BTA Discord, you can check out over there in the streams channel. I do post usually 30 minutes to an hour before I go live. I'll make an announcement over there. Uh, but yeah, the, the primary place to find out information about the streams is going to be on Twitter. Uh, just follow me over there and you will should hopefully get notifications whenever I post. I do also post some other random stuff, just rambling from time to time. But uh, I will try to give you guys as much head notice as I can when I'm going to stream. Sometimes it's a day or two before. Sometimes it's only a couple of hours before. It just depends on how things go. But I will try to let you guys know as much in advance as I can when I'm going to stream so that you've got time to, you know, make plans and, and get comfy and be ready by the time we're actually going live. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the spiel about me and, and how to get more information about me. So with that, 
I think we're going to close out the stream finally. It has been seven and a half hours of BTA and clan stomping goodness. Good lord, we had some ups and we had some downs, but I would say overall it's been positive. Like I said before, we're, we're, we have the end game in sight. So we've got some assault mechs, we've got a lot of clan tech. We're ready. We're taking on more difficult fights and we are succeeding. And that's exactly where we want to be at this point in the campaign. So outstanding work for everybody that was out there fighting the good fight. And we're going to try to get the rest of you in the company soon enough. And punished Finks with the 300 bits right at the end of the stream. Thank you so much for that. Again, you guys don't have to do that, but it means a lot to me that you do. This, this is all about you guys. You guys make the, the community. You gift the subs. You gift the bits. I'm just here to entertain, but this is all you. We wouldn't be here without you guys, so never forget that. This stream, this, 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 this is all you. I'm just here to put on the show. But either way, you can follow me on the Twitter machine to figure out when I'm going to go live. I'll make announcements there and random ramblings. You can, of course, catch the archive for these VODs over on the YouTubes. It's definitely behind, but you'll get there eventually. Um. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday evening. If we don't see you before then, please, please do enjoy your weekend as well. I may stream tomorrow or Sunday. I haven't decided, so just keep an eye out. And before I go, I want to remind you, like I always do, that your life has value and that the world is a better place with you in it. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. And I'll catch you next time. Thank you.